1984 won't be like 1984. Get your iPod. iPod's here. Do you like your Macintosh? Do you like your Macintosh? Your Macintosh. Up, up. And the Macintosh of all the machines I've ever seen is the only one that meets that standard. iPod. A thousand songs in your pocket. If today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? <laughs> Welcome everybody to this video podcast from uh, Pumpcast.com, which is uh, here to relate what happened at the Kokua Dev House Amsterdam uh, the 21st and 22nd of April 2006. It was a bunch of uh, uh, Mac freaks and especially Mac development freaks and I was there to report and to give you um, yeah, a small summary of what happened there. We start right, uh, right away with the Friday evening and then we'll go further on. Can everyone see? Because I think we could have arranged this better. Are you using the microphone for storage stuff? Or no. People in the... Uh, all these people that, you know, number one, you feel that people can understand. Um, no, it's nice to see you guys. Uh, thanks for coming so early. Um, um, Blake Morris, who lives in Dallas in Texas. Um, decided to organise a little COVID death house. Um, and that's a hackathon and get together for people interested in and love of Coco. And what they did was the COVID death house in Dallas, they made an application for a day. And um, Blake got in touch with me a little bit through Flickr, I think, um, you see, probably looking at the pictures of Vargo kind of Amsterdam, and he liked what he saw. Um, and we've well, we been waiting for Blake Morris to turn up. Uh, I was meant to be here, uh, not, you know, not here, but he wanted to. He tried to ask uh, someone to pay him to get over here, but that didn't happen. Um, he's, where's my eye check off? We can put him up there so that when he does pop up, if you can keep an eye on this, if he shows up, where's the hell's eye check? Attack! When, when this goes green, we need to like point it out and we need to know he's there because we're going to do, he's going to say some stuff, we're going to get him on our chat and um, do a little video chat with him and kind of make him tell us what they're up to and, and uh, we'll tell them what they're up, where they're up to also. So that's coming up soon when he, when he turns up from wherever he is. People are texting him and ringing him and we're trying to get, get him on because, yeah, he's got his title also, he should be done here also, virtually. I think we're trying to fix the audio of the people online uh, on the live stream. Um, so the things we need to know, the IRC chat channel, I think you can all find that out. We need to sort out on a flick attack in this event. I think it's going to be Coco Death House Amsterdam, one word. So all your photographs, please put them up. Okay, including myself, and I've got Xcode out last week, and I need to make an ad for someone by the name of the So I seriously need to an intro crash course on what this thing's about. Okay? So any of you guys just put your hand in there. For God's sake, that's what we've got some photos of. Who are going to tell us what it does? What are you? Come on. Come on, why do you put your hands up? Get up here. You can come on. Come on, Thank you. Crash course in Florida. Well, what Coco is basically is it's a, it's a framework uh, made by Apple. And um, this framework allows you very simple to build. <laughs> My quest then loves loves bouncing. Just so that it only does it. You said how often it does it does it. And I'll drop it. And I'm going to face. Woo! <laughs> So, hey, web objects is a simple thing. Yeah, true. And you can also build uh, uh, swing applications with interface building. Really cool stuff. Now I saved this one. This is my interface. A quick interface builder. I have a data model. I have an interface builder code. Well, I'll do it in English. 
just some. It's uh, one year old. Goodbye, then. <laughs> 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 make uh, another one uh, that's a tuna. You'll tell from this we've got a new MacBook Pro. <laughs> That's the problem with the eyesight. With the integrated eyesight, we have to move the whole computer. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
so cute. I don't want that song. I want. Oh, that's 
cool. You just, it's because you close it. You just have to put it on sleep. You close it. And then the camera. And you close it again. <laughs> it, it makes the nice people. You just have to close the lid. It's when you move it, it goes to sleep. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Oh, it's really working well. Well, there was so much room yeah, in, on the on the west coast, yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah, we have, we have so much room. We Don't say the same for New York. Like, fuck New York. No, New York <laughs> is the other part of the U.S. that we acknowledge. New York rules. We acknowledge that. On the next morning, at Cocoa and have holes. Something like 10.30. And we're waiting for our end dismiss, having the keys. So... I'm an expert like trying to do a neo model it uses the built in kind of data model of thing. It doesn't use this interface. It doesn't, it's swapped now it's by default over this, but it's not the very model it just because it's I know what I'm doing with it. So the first moving conference. <laughs> Cocoa Death House is moving. Ah, coffee, no, please. <laughs> the real unconference. We're like Apple, we innovate. Application, by the way, this way the ball book won't be stolen. <laughs> what I need to do is to, instead of having that silly alert, it should have, it should open the microphone and the, the yeah. sound yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and let it just feed back. <laughs> we go back to the headquarters. Back to what? We go back to the headquarters. HQ. Well, it's not that small. There are smaller ones. 
second day in the morning. Go inside. Change the bit here. It's really cooler. The next generation of PowerBook. We're not changing anything in, in regards to that the Firefox is doing. So we're we're not going to be any faster than Firefox. Um, we're a little bit slower because we have an indexer. But right now we were super slow, and now we're not nearly as slow anymore. So now we're only a little bit slower than Firefox, uh, which is still slower than Safari. But Safari is also the fastest web browser in the world right now. What I hate about Safari is that you go to a website which sort of locks up your. Safari. Yeah, and it'll just sort of well, pause for a while. Beach I think Steve Jobs just locked it. Yeah, but not not on the Mac. On the Mac, it's not that speedy, Safari. Um, sorry, um, Firefox. You meant Firefox yeah. was this? Firefox is pretty slow, but yeah, no, Safari ha does do a thing like very frequently where it'll just sort of lock up on a web page and it just takes forever for it to get through it. I found the part of the web report on the services. On my phone, the services menu. Services menu? Yeah, Firefox. Oh, you mean like Apple integration services stuff? Yeah, Firefox doesn't have any support for any of that stuff. They have they have a couple of Apple scripts and stuff built in, um, but it's all turned off. Like it never got updated, and so it doesn't work anymore, and no one's updated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't it doesn't do too much with any anything. So I tried I tried to fix it. Um, but the code is very archaic and weird, and I don't know what it's supposed to do. So it's a bunch of C++ that it just looks like gibberish to me. And I, yeah. So don't touch it, it already was broken. <laughs> I like this picture you have here on the screen. Yeah, it's a cool guy. This guy's really cool. Yeah, I, he talked yesterday about some sort of Apple um, juice or something. Apple. Uh, so show me, broken show arms and apples. Or... Show me, show me, show me the butt butt fucker on Google. Um, Andy Mother Fucker. Andy Mother Fucker. Were you the first round? Yeah. <laughs> Although now it's a link to, it used to be just the link to my blog. But because my blog says Andy Bad Mother Fucker Smith on the top. So I wrote a blog post about how I'm changing my name to Andy Mother Fucker or whatever. Because I can't win Smith. One uses IDs. One guy uses TextMate uh, if he's on a Mac. And, uh, I don't have TextMate. And then, um, yeah, even the guy on Windows uses VI under Seawood, which I think is. Is anyone else on the Yeah. The most important part of the day is coming. We're gonna eat. What are the instructions? We're gonna do. <laughs> Are you going to edit your film? Yeah, I hope. I hope I will have enough courage to make a kind of a small video podcast. So that <laughs> you put it out. Notify. Yeah, yeah. So like, I, I notify the wiki anyway. So uh, just be sure to go back and check the the wiki later, everybody. I don't know why, it's just three minutes with content, that's what I can find from my presentation. But if I find other content, I'll just... Oh, that's a tricky part. Yeah, I think it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see which breakpoints I'm using. Yeah, it's really like, and it's not taking control of the images, as well as the images. But I have a different way of being able to cover up the images. I can use the tools, I can use the tools, I can use the tools. Put this on, I love you. Ik heb een raadprobleem. Kijk eens. Ik heb een schermpje, dat is transparant. Ik tik wat in. 
op dat moment wordt hij poef in de transparant. En op dat moment verdwijnt mijn focus daar vandaan. En nu kreeg je het natuurlijk. Dus een demo omhoog. Ik So, let's see what you do. <laughs> this is what I do. So we know the guys on AppSepper. What are the other applications, some of them? This is the new icon that's going to come out for CoverFlow. Yeah. Well, most people know CoverFlow, but yeah, yeah. Uh, they really had a very crappy icon. And um, this is the, um, the update icon for the Mozilla Update yeah. application. And that's so it's integrated in Firefox and Thunderbird and many and other products. And in Flock also. And in Flock as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, I did the Camino icon, or at, me, at least I redid it for the version 1. Uh, this is for the food menu from Insanity. Yeah. Um, I did um, this is, uh, for Neometric software. Yeah. This is a catalog, and this is Widget Kit, which is a, uh, an application they never released, ah. but it was very cool. But okay. they decided not to release it. And, um, I don't know. What are those those uh, package Mac Minis? This this is an icon kit I've been working okay. on for the last two years, uh, which I haven't released yet. Okay. Uh, which I'm gonna release in a couple of weeks on my Oblo. Okay. Uh, it's much bigger than this, but these are some of the ones I like most. Yeah. It's called Box World. Okay. It will be a free icon kit or uh, like a free set of icons. Okay. For anybody to do. Yeah. Cool. Do you also program, develop, or just uh, no, design? No, well, I, I design, I do graphic design, yeah. um, but I do also web development, mostly okay. HTML, CSS, but I'm not really a programmer. I knew and I know AppleScript yeah. quite well, but uh, I don't really do any real development. I leave it to the pros. Yeah. I do my visual stuff, which yeah. I do best, so yeah. <laughs> I stick to that. Did you study that or what? I study graphic design. I stay, I'm yeah. still on, uh, in the art academy, okay. uh, which is just I really study graphic design. So okay. this it doesn't really fit in it. Okay. This is something I taught myself uh, in the last couple of three, four years. Uh -huh. With what do you design? This is all Photoshop. All Photoshop. Yeah. Okay. Uh, except AppZapper, which is the first icon I did with uh, 3D in okay. Maya. A friend of mine modeled it because I am not. Uh, I'm not Maya is very complicated and, okay. uh, and he's very good at it so I thought it would be nice if he just modeled it and I styled it, designed it. Okay. So this is all bitmap, no uh, vectors? This is all bitmap. Uh, they are a vector because uh, in Photoshop you can work with vector oh, okay. objects. I know. So uh, I designed them all with vector objects. Okay. So they are scalable of course but okay. uh, like uh, with icons it's always best to make them on the resolution they're intended. Yeah, yeah. So, that's why. Then what happens after you pass this point, the diagram flips and you uh, get into the new point. What will happen if this is connected? That is a common thing that can be done. So this is what the Netherlands will do. They will give you a gift. It will be for your success. Or to tell you, your star appears as champagne. That is what they will do. But it will not be the same. Yeah, a little.
leader of the Bali, uh, and I was there as well. And uh, since then, I've been, uh, well, actually, I've been, you know, I've been involved with sort of some of my friends, but they still have to finish their degree. Uh, and I do actually go, so I've been about six months in the uh, place, I've been done already. And uh, I've decided to look into, um, specifically, I've decided to look into web games, web audio video. Because right now, the entire audio video market, as far as web concerned, is basically owned by Flash. All interesting inter games these days are Flash, you see very few Java applets. And um, even though uh, you can, for example, play you know, an AVI movie in most web browsers, um, most uh, video servers, including Google Video, use Flash as well. But there is something new, and it's called Canvas. And I'm not sure if everybody knows what Canvas is. Animation could be in 
nice, of course, and the moment is just... Where, where are these things? The whole, what we haven't explained is this whole text. text. So, oh, that's that's okay. You have to explain the issue of why we have to do this thing that over the focus and like not clicking through the focus. The problem, the, is, yeah, the problem is this is an, um, it's an like, exhibition thing, so you don't want people to get out, they go on the fire, they go on the web, stuff like that. So everything, I click here now and, and I, I just can't get to the application, I can't get to the background, so it's sort of kiosk mode. Uh, we have a, we have a lot of problems making it transparent and only show the thing in the middle uh, not transparent and then fading it away. First we had a nice whole thing transparent, but then we said, oh no, we just want it in the middle. So we just had to tweak around with uh, windows without menu bars, without window type bars, and that's basically the main problem we had uh, in the rest child's play. Because of either there were two ways to do it. The problem is this: you've either got to, you've got to have that. This thing is a keyboard. You've got to have an NS text field to set the weight and focus room. But if only clicks off it and clicks through the thing, the video behind it's gone and the thing's broken. Um, we could have got low level and tried to handle at the hardware level some stuff coming in, but we just figured that was not going to be something we were going to do. So just faking it and putting a text field off the view and just making it the frontmost application was a. A nice hacky workaround, I think, <laughs> in true honor of all things. So, uh, I'd say thank you to all the people who helped us, though, because it was fun. Yeah, absolutely, like, yeah, yes, it is. I know it's a good thing for me. Just uh, take the, the people board, here. I'm very happy with that. Yeah. Great afternoon. <laughs> it will be being used for real next week, next Monday, Tuesday, wow. Wednesday, Thursday, next Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. So, Soon available on betterfy.com. Uh, we'll put the details on the wiki, but it, it is happy. We'll be being used. Are you real. seeking funding? Is it? Is it? And, and the most important question: Is it open source? Yeah. <laughs> what well, license? <laughs> Which means you want to open source. Oh well, that's not getting the old subversion thing. So, it's all. You where, have this all in subversion as well, the whole thing. So, 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 so. Where are they going? This is going to be used for the exhibition. <laughs> on which website? Which is the last project in Liverpool on the 3rd and 4th of May next week. <laughs> but now it's fine. <laughs> And whilst we're all agreed that RFID is a bit of a kind of crappy technology at the moment, hence all these strange workarounds to trying to get it to do something vaguely useful, um, we were just talking about how, um, you know, when you go to a conference and you get a badge with a, with a barcode on it and you go to, up to the store and people scan you so that they know who's come and seen their stuff so that they can do stuff with that data at a later point. Well, maybe there's a use for this kind of thing in the future in a conference environment, if you can write much more data than just your name and email address, or, for example, that's stored in a database or a barcode at a conference, you can write all sorts of things to <coughs> tag, store, well, kind of stored, not necessarily stored to a tag, but stored in a database that's kind of administered by tags, and do much more interesting stuff with it. So this is possibly like just a kind of ideas thing about what, what you could possibly store to stuff, and the idea of putting your picture on it is really quite nice because it makes it much more personal. So, Oh, the next one is that all the every picture is going to obviously oh, yeah. be uploaded to Flickr. So, yeah, so I think, yeah. have you done that? Have we done that before? No, we've not. But right. we can do it. So. it in theory, as, as you store a photo to a tag, you can upload it to Flickr and, or somewhere. Yeah, and it'll just automatically tag it with the name of the, the event or whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Which would be quite nice. Thank you. <laughs> that was good. I got to do my oh, objects. Do you, you can say other objects, but... Do you want to talk about how...